Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg got a shot at survival that few people with pancreatic cancer get. The cancer was detected early enough for surgery. Doctors were able to operate Tuesday. As few as 10 of every 100 patients have their pancreatic tumors removed. Uh, most people come in with spread of that cancer to another organ, like the liver or the lungs. And as soon as they're spread to another organ, those patients are not eligible for an operation. Ginsburg reported no symptoms, but the court says her doctors discovered the cancer at an early stage during a routine physical last month. And it's that early detection, doctors say, that has dramatically improved her prognosis. Taking all stages, about 20% of people who have pancreatic cancer and get an operation for it are alive five years later. Without surgery, the prognosis drops to 5%. Officials say Ginsburg will spend the next week to 10 days at a cancer center in New York and undergo additional therapy. Adjuvant therapy for pancreatic cancer usually involves uh, a couple of different chemotherapy agents. But a small tumor, and if the lymph nodes are negative, would put her at a very low stage, which is to her benefit. This isn't the first time that the 75-year-old Justice has had a brush with cancer. She had surgery for colon cancer 10 years ago and underwent both chemotherapy and radiation. White House Press Secretary Robert Gibbs says President Obama hopes for her speedy recovery. But, uh, is uh, thoughts and prayers are with her uh, and her family uh, right now. And uh, If Ginsburg or another justice leaves the court, it falls to Obama to pick their successors. Anyone he might choose to replace her probably would be as liberal as she, keeping in place the five to four conservative tilt of the court. Look for it being someone who is respected uh, broadly, but who is seen as center, center left. So help me God. So help me God. Ginsburg has served on the Supreme Court since 1993. She's currently the only woman among the nine justices. Ross Simpson, The Associated Press.